All right, today we're going to do scale drawings, uh, still working with proportions, except we're going to talk about uh, scale drawings instead of just similar figures. So in your table of contents, you need to go ahead and write in scale drawing. You will take a benchmark on this, so make sure you take good notes today. And then after you make a table of contents, you have one vocab word, which is scale drawing. It's an enlarged or reduced drawing of an object that is similar, which we talk similar means proportional, to the actual object. So I gave you two real world examples. You don't have to write them down if you don't want to. But a road map would be considered a reduced drawing. And when you talk about cells in science, those are enlarged scale drawings. So take a second and get that written down in your notes. All right, here's an example. Don't worry about writing this one down. I'm just going to walk you through an example, and then we'll start getting into some together. So this is one that I pulled from a book. Uh, it says you have a scale drawing of a boat. So here's your scale drawing. The length of the boat on the drawing is 3 centimeters. So this is telling us that from here to here is 3 centimeters. And then I want to know the actual length of the boat. So they gave me a scale here, and we need to set up a proportion. So over here, they set up their proportion, and they used N to represent the actual length. Well, whatever letter you want to choose is fine. We usually use X. But the same thing when setting up a proportion. Whatever you put in your numerator, so if you're doing the centimeters in your numerator, then the centimeters need to go in your numerator over here. Okay, so they represented that as either the, in the drawing, these are the numbers, and then they use the denominator for the actual amounts. So here's the ratio of the scale. So for every one centimeter on the scale drawing, it's actually 1.5 meters in real life. Okay. So our scale drawing down to the right is 3 centimeters in length. So we need to know what the actual length is in meters. Okay. So again, we're talking about corresponding. Whatever is corresponding, so in this case centimeters on top, centimeters on top, meters on bottom, meters on bottom. So then we cross multiply, and they did that work down here for you, and they got 1 times n, which is just n, equals 1.5 times 3, and then they solved it down here. So the actual length of the boat is 4.5 meters. So let's go ahead and do a couple together. Uh, below are the distances two cities are on a map. Find the actual distance if the map uh, uses the scale two centimeters uh, is equal to 21 kilometers. Okay, so here's our ratio. So we're gonna set that up first. So we're gonna put two centimeters on top and 21 kilometers on the bottom. Okay, I'm just gonna leave these lengths or the units in here for right now just so we make sure we match them up correctly. So we need to set this equal to, let's read what we have up here. So Chicago, Illinois and Champaign, Illinois are 8.2 centimeters apart on the map. What is their actual distance? So when we set this up, since we have centimeters on the, in our numerator up here, we have to have centimeters in our numerator up here. That way when we go through and solve this, we're going to solve for the actual distance, which is the distance in kilometers. So go ahead and take a second to solve that one on your own. So cross multiply. When you cross multiplied, you should have gotten 172 and 2 tenths. And go ahead and take a second to divide those both by 2.
I didn't actually look up these distances, so if they're not even close, I apologize. So we should have gotten 86.1 kilometers. So their actual distance would be 86.1 kilometers. Again, I don't know if that's even close. And then the next one, Colorado Springs and Breckenridge are 4.8 centimeters apart on the map. What is their actual distance? So we're using the same scale up here. So we have two centimeters is equal to 21 kilometers. I'm gonna leave the units off this time because we usually don't put those in a proportion. Is equal to, our centimeter up here is 4.8 and we're solving for the actual distance. So go ahead and take a second to solve that one. So for this one, you should have gotten 50.4 kilometers. So here are two I want you to do completely on your own. I want you to set up their proportion and solve those. So take a second to do those. All right, the next part of um, scale drawings is if I give you a picture, you need to be able to count units and figure out some lengths. So let's read this one together. It says, the figure to the left is a scale drawing of a dollhouse. In the drawing, the side of each square represents two and a half feet. Find the actual length of these spaces below. So the height of the house and the width of the door. I wanna know the actual lengths of these. But first we need to write this in a scale. So what it's saying is that each side of these squares um, represents two and a half feet. So let's write this as one unit. So we'll say one of these is one unit is equal to two and a half feet. Now we can write two and a half two different ways. We can write it as two and a half as a mixed number or 2.5 is also two and a half. So whichever one you're more comfortable with, go ahead and do that. So down here, I wanna know the actual length of the height of the house. So when we go through, the height of the house goes from the bottom all the way up to its highest point. So we're gonna have to count from here to here to find our units. So we have one unit, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine units. Okay, so let me write this right here as my first ratio. So one unit, and I think you guys are more comfortable with decimals, so I'll just go ahead and do 2.5, equals nine units, and then our actual amount is gonna show up in feet down there. So when we go through and cross multiply, we get one times x, which is just x equals, and then we have to do 2.5 times nine. So nine times five is 45, and then 18 plus four is 22, and then count your decimal, so we have one. So the actual height of the house is 22 and a half, or 22.5 feet. The next one, we're gonna find the width of the door. So again, our ratio is one over two and a half equals, and then the width. So we're coming over here, this is our door. So here's our height, so we want our width. So it's two units. 
we need to solve for the actual length. So again, we're going to cross multiply. And the nice part of this one is that we're always going to get x equals something. So x equals, and then 2.5 times 2, double that, is 5 feet. Okay, I have two that you guys are going to do on your own. I'm going to go ahead and erase this so I can bring them out here. So go ahead and work on these two on your on your own. So the first one's the height of the first floor. So assuming from here to here is the first floor and from here up is the attic or the second floor. And then the width of the window. So be careful here because it looks like we don't have a whole number of units. So see if you can take a second to figure those out on your own. So here are the answers to the ones that you guys just did in your notebook. So check your work. I set up the proportion up here for the height. So the height is five units. So the actual height of the house is, or the first floor is 12.5 feet. And then the width of the window, which is right here, is 2.5 units. So the actual width is 6.25 feet. All right, here's one more. So here's an, uh, an actual picture. I pulled it off the internet. I don't know if the scale is correct. I made it up. Um, but I couldn't find a ruler to put over it, so I kind of made my own ruler, and I told you that each one of these were one inch. So I want to know the actual length of the alligator. So take a second and work that one out. Could be true, that was pretty close. All right, now you guys, uh, I have some homework for you.